Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I have purposefully set up my camera very close to my face this time so that you are able to see my sunglasses up close because today's video is going to be all about sunglasses. I'll show you my very very tiny collection and I have also ordered three new pairs and hopefully after that I'll decide which one to leave because I have to return to two other pairs so without further ado let's get started okay guys I want to start with my favorite first the ones that I've been wearing every day for the past four years since I got them so here is the first pair uh, they are by Dior here they are they have these very pretty golden studs on their temples and this particular style is called Lady Dior Stats, which makes sense, right? Because they have stats. Can you see? I've got them four years ago, exactly in 2018. And ever since then, they've been my favorite. This shape is such a classic shape and the color black, uh, which goes with everything. And I've been wearing them in winters and in summer, so literally every single day for the past four years. And look how great they still look. If I were to have one pair of glasses, um, they would definitely be these ones. So if I had to choose from... Basically, I have four glasses right now. And I want to mention something that you might actually find very useful. Uh, you might already know about it. Anyways, you can just comment down below and let me know. Um, so every sunglasses, they have a particular length, length of um, temples. So I've realized that 150 is the most comfortable temple length for me after I bought this pair of sunglasses. So they are 140. Um, not centimeters, millimeters, right? 140. And um, they, I mean, I've gotten used to them. I find that these temples are ever so slightly shorter. Ideally, uh, you would like to have the, the curve like behind your ear, right? Logically. Okay, the next one, my second favorite of all, is this pair, which I wore for two years every day prior to getting uh, my Dior sunglasses. So these are by Ray-Ban and they are this very classic round shape as you can see. I don't know the uh, style name for this one but um, here's the code so it says RB2180 and here I, I was telling you about the temple length so these uh, sunglasses have 150 millimeters. I find that they are so comfortable and frankly now that I'm trying them after such a long time I want to say that they are actually much more comfortable than these ones. Uh, they sit very comfortably, they are lighter in weight. I have two pairs left and I have th three new pairs I'm, I'm about to show you. Uh, now this the, the third one, so they are again by Ray-Ban. This one I've gotten a long, long time ago, literally 10 years ago. I remember I wanted them to be oversized. So these are the large model of the um, aviator style. Now number four would be these ones. So these are by Bulgari. Here you are. I would say that the shape is a little similar to the ones I have here by Dior but these ones are a little not a little I think that these ones are more feminine because they have this uh, sort of embellishments and uh, like stones attached here I got them after these ones after the classic uh, aviators nearly 10 years ago I would say I got them in Harrods I've tried so many different pairs and I've decided to stop on these ones but I haven't worn this for so many years now um, uh, another reason why I don't wear them too often is because when I smile the sunglasses they touch my uh, cheek and I think one of the rules for proper fitting of your sunglasses would be that they uh, shouldn't touch your cheeks when you smile you see this one they don't touch and these ones they do here you see when I smile my sunglasses lift a uh, a little bit but I still love them they give me lots of nostalgia feelings uh, I used to wear them when I was a student back in London now moving on um, my three new pairs which um, I'll have to return two of them and let's go first with this one so these are by Saint Laurent 
and if you see these are uh, a very very sort of trendy shape narrow i don't know i'm not used to seeing myself in these narrow sunglasses but i absolutely adore people wearing narrow sunglasses now these are called betty the length is 145 i would say that they sit quite comfortably except that they are a little too narrow like very snug around my uh, head i was just thinking maybe over time they just widen a little bit now moving on um second new pair is by celine i mean i love celine glasses but frankly i have never found a pair that would fit me perfectly <laughs> i'll have to try them on with this because they say that uh, returns will only be accepted if the stock remains attached so anyways I think that these are very sort of chic sunglasses. I love the gradient lenses. I think that they look super elegant. So the shape is also very similar to what I have here. Um, and even the studs, as you can see here, uh, here are the Celine sort of classic studs. However, these are, you see, I found that I find, I can't even, you see, insert a finger in between the temples and my head because they are too wide here and too narrow at the back i think that they are so beautiful and it's such a shame that they don't fit me well and i'll have to return them and the last but not least i have a pair by victoria becker these are completely different to what i have right now so i have never had like colorful um frames sunglasses and it, they sit so comfortable they're super lightweight but I am not sure because I'm so used to having like sort of classic sunglasses and this is completely different. So I'm thinking that if I buy a pair to wear for two to four years in a row and that's how often I update my sunglasses, as you can see, and then this wouldn't be the ones that I would be able to wear every day with every single outfit anyway so i'm hesitating they're super comfortable super lightweight and also guys could you be kind enough and comment summer in the comment section down below if you've made it um this far and uh basically that's it i, I hope you've enjoyed this video any questions you have leave them in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer them bye bye and see you next time